Hi, I'm Tanae, the interior founder of Legal Fitness, and that's my online contact template store for business owners. All right, so today we're going to talk about adding members to your LLC. So if you've been operating as a single member LLC, and now you want to bring on a partner or uh, in terms of an LLC, that person will be called another member. This is how you do it. Now, if you've been a single member LLC for a while and you already have a single member uh, LLC operating agreement and you don't know what that is, be sure to check out my video on that. But if you already have a single member LLC operating agreement, you're going to want to um, amend and restate that agreement into what's called a multi-member operating agreement. Now, that is not as scary as it sounds. Basically, you're just going to create an entirely new agreement. And in this agreement, what you're going to do is you're going to add both yourself and any other new members to that agreement as members. So when you create an LLC operating agreement, it's basically a contract between the members of the LLC and the LLC itself. You know that an LLC is a separate entity and we like to form that LLC to keep our business and our personal assets separate. So when you're creating your LLC, you do the LLC operating agreement, discuss things such as who the members are and how much interest each member owns in the LLC. So when you were a single member, as that single member, you owned 100% of the LLC. Now that you're adding a member, both your names should be listed with the percentage owned. And let me give you a quick tip here because I have a whole video about this. Do not, <laughs> or at the very least, do it at your own risk, put in 50-50 ownership. Because while it's all puppies and rainbows in the beginning, if for some reason the two of you become deadlocked over an issue, if there is a 50-50% split, who is going to be the deal breaker? No one. And if you're adding more than one member, go ahead and list that member's name too. All the members of the LLC should be listed in the multi-member operating agreement with their percentage of ownership of the LLC. Okay, another step of adding a new member to your LLC is registering their name with the Secretary of State. Now, note that this is not required for every state. It really depends on your state. Certain states, um, they do not ask you at all who the members of your LLC are. Uh, they presume that you have that all listed in your LLC operating agreement, and that is between you and your LLC and the other members. But certain states do um, require that you input the members of the LLC in their, in their particular title. So it may just be, um, one person may just be a member, another person may be a managing member. But if your state requires it, make sure that you add that member on the Secretary of State website or whatever your state's business registration website is called. So that's it. It's pretty simple in terms of how to add members to your LLC. If you need an operating agreement, be sure to check out my website, legalgoodness.com. And don't forget to download my business legal checklist. It has 10 steps to get your business up to date legally starting today. And a link to that is in the description box below. All right, I'll see you in the next one.